everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to discuss something and I need your awesome responses in the comments below to try to get to the bottom of this. And so this is a topic that has come up before and I think I've talked about it a little bit on my channel, especially back when I was... Um, reading the book Astounding by um, Alec Navala Lee. And I think it might have even come up in that interview. Maybe I'll link that shit here. I don't know. But anyway, my thought was L. Ron Hubbard said, allegedly, that the reason why he created Scientology was because the pulps weren't paying enough um, for him to continue to write fiction. Make of that what you will. The other thing is is that I've heard or I read, it might have been in that book, it might not have been, I can't remember. And so, like, coming in here with facts, like, this is just, like, me thinking. But I remember somewhere hearing that one of the inspirations L. Ron Hubbard had for creating Scientology was Lovecraft's use of the Cthulhu mythos. Okay? So let's just fucking take a moment and think about that. Like if that is a legit quote or a legit feeling L. Ron Hubbard had, H.P. motherfucking Lovecraft might be the one responsible for Scientology. Let that sink in for a second. That's crazy. So what I am going to talk about now is... Why didn't Lovecraft do this himself? Okay. Lovecraft's a smart dude. Lovecraft's a guy who always wants to be right and always is ready to argue his thoughts and his points. So if that's the case, how come he didn't think of this first? And then I was thinking, I'm like, well, you know, maybe it's just the whole like cosmic horror shit where, um, the gods are so great and humans are so insignificant that why would that even be a fucking thing that we would have any knowledge of? But then I was thinking more, and in his stories even, especially in the Call of Cthulhu, there are Cthulhu cults. There are, in Dunwich Horror, like there are people trying to, to bring these fucking giant god monster things that will uh, totally annihilate Earth and everything with it. They're trying to raise them from their great slumbers. You know what I'm saying? So then I was thinking, I'm like, is it a thing where there just isn't as much to gain from the Cthulhu mythos as there would be from Scientology? Like, at least on paper? And I don't know, because it seems like with Scientology, you give up a lot in order to play ball with them. And if you're not from Southern California, you probably have never seen this, but maybe I'll put some pictures up here. But the main Scientology building, it's like this big fucking blue structure, like cops in like matching weird blue outfits just wandering around making sure everyone is Scientologizing correctly or something. Now, can you imagine that if that was like a Cthulhu mythos thing? Because I, I think um, Lovecraft never called it like a Cthulhu mythos. He called it like yog sothothism or something like that. So just imagine like that that big blue building with like a big fucking Cthulhu head on top of it or wings coming off of the building and it's all fucking dark and lightning striking and shit and there's all these weird fucking druids fucking walking around. Like what the fuck would that be like? Now, another thing about this and let me know in the comments below if like my timeline's off somehow or anything like this. But, like, if you look at L. Ron Hubbard and H.P. Lovecraft, L. Ron Hubbard, I think, I don't know if he had more money in the beginning or if the whole Scientology thing just kind of landed him some cash. But um, 
Lovecraft came from a very affluent family that lost everything, basically. His means might not have been what they could have been in order to create a religion. But like when you're thinking about all this stuff and all of these things from the Necronomicon that he talks about, why didn't he just fucking write the Necronomicon? Like, I know that's crazy. And I'm not saying like, I want there to be a new cult to belong to. Damn it. I'm just saying it's fucking weird that the Necronomicon Lovecraft Cthulhu, the whole fucking thing for so many years people actually thought there was some relevance to what he was talking about because of the way he wrote his stories to where you thought that this was actual historical like relevance and shit. And I don't know if in L. Ron Hubbard's writing, he ever made people feel that way until he decided, okay, we're not doing fiction anymore. We're starting Scientology. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lovecraft was like the fucking blueprint on how to like turn away from fiction and start a religion. And the funny thing is this video, there's probably at least one person. I'm guessing more like 22 people who now that I've said that are like, Oh shit, I could stop writing fiction and start a religion. The money's probably a lot better. That's what L Ron Hubbard thought. And that's why we're talking about this right now. It's nuts. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Do you think there was any conceivable way that Lovecraft could have got yog sothothism off the ground as an actual fucking religion? Do you think that the lore around the Necronomicon could have been enough for him to be able to start this ridiculous, huge cult? And then if doing that, would that have saved his life? Because he ended up dying of like stomach cancer and shit like that. But that was basically because he was starving himself to death and just eating really cheap, bad food because he would rather spend his money on writing utensils and like paper and stamps and letters or envelopes and shit like that instead of on food. And he trained himself to only eat once a day and the whole fucking thing. It's just mind blowing. And then if he would have done that, would L. Ron Hubbard then go, oh, look, he did it. I can do it. Or would he have said, wow, he fucking pulled that off. Maybe I should just stick to fiction. Like, these are wondrous things to think about. And if you could imagine a world where it's so funny because I talk about this, but even though I'm saying all of these things, I think the cult of Cthulhu or whatever you would end up calling it, I don't know if those would be the craziest people in the world right now. Fuck, it's nuts. So what do you think? Let me know down below. I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you could run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.